Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This video is going to be very interesting because I am making this video after receiving a lot of requests from my subscribers that uh, give us five uh, topics to do summer internships or summer projects or summer training which becomes an integral part of your uh, master's study in many colleges. In most of the colleges and universities right now, this is a part of integral curriculum. Uh, some gets two months time frame to complete their uh, summer internship, some get six months time frame I personally prefer that six month time frame is required to do considerable amount of work in this particular field. Two months is a very, very less time in order to do something except for bioinformatics studies. So we'll have two separate videos on this series when we talk about the five topics uh, regarding uh, summer internship, five topics that you can select to do your summer internship project or summer training project. This video will be on 5 plus 1 bonus topic uh, that you can do on summer internship from modern biology subjects that includes microbiology, biochemistry, molecular biology, bioinformatics, uh, genomics, this particular area of study and we also have another video when you talk about the 5 classical subjects, classical topics from zoology, botany, ecology, evolution, so from those uh, classical biology topics. So if you are from classical biology background, watch that video. Uh, and if you want to understand and know about the topics from modern biology, then watch this video where we'll discuss about five plus one bonus topic regarding the summer internship that you can do and conclude within four to six months of time frame. So let's speak. Now before beginning, I must tell you is that uh, I am personally from the field of microbiology and that is my uh, strong side of domain. So I'll be a little bit biased towards the microbiology subject or microbiology stream here in this particular segment. So uh, don't get me wrong here because uh, out of the six topics, three of them are from microbiology and also I am uh, very in favor of uh, the bioinformatic analysis because my personal uh, summer internship project was in bioinformatics structural bi bi biology as well. So in that case, uh, I am a little bit biased towards microbiology and bioinformatics here. So you'll see four or five topics from those. Uh, so this little biasness is there. So let's start beginning with the very first topic that you can choose is the development of biosensors and rapid detection of waterborne pathogens. So waterborne pathogens uh, are a serious deal in India. In a country like a third world country like India, there are uh, thousands of thousands of children are being affected every single day from contaminated water because the portability of water is not here in India still at very good standards. So we are working here to develop biosensors or markers with which we can analyze the, the water quality, whether the water is being contaminated with pathogens or not. So designing low cost biosensor, test uh, for the low cost biosensors uh, using enzymes, using antibodies, using uh, aptamers, to detect bacteria like E. coli and Vibrio cholerae that actually cause most of the pathogen. So we are targeting bacterial pathogen here, not viral pathogen because targeting viral pathogen will consume more time and it will not be completed within six months of time frame and with not with the help of the facilities that is generally disposable as a summer intern project training uh, in your case. So that involves microbiology, nanotechnology, analytical chemistry. And this is very, very important and useful in public health diagnostic for a rapid detection and low cost based detection technology. If you want to develop something that is a good uh, field of study, which you can continue forward when you do PhD later on. The second uh, topic that I believe is microbial fuel cell, MFC. This is going to be the future, okay, because the fossil fuel, uh, we are running out of fossil fuel and we need to design, we need to manage, we need to form a way to uh, utilize bacteria, to utilize microorganisms as a fuel cell called MFC, microbial fuel cell. Uh, and waste to energy conversion is uh, something that we can design for. So uh, you can construct a working prototype of an MFC using bacteria and there are different species of bacteria, not the typical E. coli and all the others, but there are other species of bacteria which is being used as a microbial fuel cell. So you can work with Geobacter, okay, Shivanilla, 
so they can generate electricity from organic waste and in india we have huge access to the organic waste which is just lying around so conversion of organic waste uh, to a fuel cell is a huge deal and a credible work so studying biofilm formation electron transfer and also the voltage output from it it's something uh, is very very important and your contribution to the green energy domain would be really really cherished so that is another very very good topic third important topic of research that you can go with isolation and genomic uh, genotyping of antibiotic resistance genes from clinical samples so again another microbiology topic i couldn't resist mine of selection of the antibiotic uh, related or antibiotic sensitivity related topics because this is one of the burning topics globally right so you need to isolate uh, and you cause you need to have a genotyping of the antibiotic resistance gene from clinical samples you collect clinical or environmental samples uh, and then isolate bacteria perform pcr based uh, genotyping analysis to find out the bacterial resistance like antibiotic resistance genes with the help of different uh, wet lab techniques tagged with the bioinformatics techniques like blatem as you can see meka etc all these analysis will be there uh, so if you have blatem meka these genes that you can will find out genes like this and you can discover other genes uh, and their sequences and uh, you need to analyze the data for prevalence of the diversity of this antimicrobial resistance short form amr so utilizing bioinformatics and also understanding the gene that you have discovered tagged it with the bioinformatics study to find out the specific sequence or conservedness in the sequence that will help you to give uh, uh, a basic backbone to to start clinical uh, career in the field in the same field in the future times to develop uh, you know to understand the genotyping of a bacterial resistance in a uh, in a microorganism the sequence that is present there the conservedness uh, that they they share the similarity that they share so based on that you can comment on microbial resistance to the antibiotics right that is a very very good topic fourth topic is artificial intelligence in cancer genomics now ai is the buzzword right now in 2025 2026 ai is a buzzword so uh, i need to give some topic related to ai so this is the topic artificial intelligence ai in cancer genomics where data mining and mutation prediction is something that you can work on and believe me this kind of projects can be completed within 3 to 4 months time frame in a lesser time frame but the work will be really really with a higher weightage you combine machine learning algorithms with genomic databases like uh, tcga database ncbi geo databases to predict the cancer associated mutations okay and the skills uh, that are covered throughout this is a python learning uh, data visualization biomarker analysis all these things and uh, this is very very good interdisciplinary uh, science that you can do com uh, combining both the ai modeling and the molecular biology side by side together that will help you to reach uh, to predict the mutations related to the can cancer and also if any uh, obviously it's not viable to like it's not viable to say that you are going to get a unique uh, sequence within 6 months not possible but what you can do is that already established sequences their their mutations you can study them compare them and you can predict uh, utilizing the artificial intelligence and machine learning you can predict uh, if Uh, a particular mutation in a gene of a person x y z is present then what is the probability of the person to get another similar mutation or dissimilar mutation so that thing can be done then we have development of plant based antimicrobial formulation against mdr pathogens another microbiology topic but it is from plant microbiology perspective so we are we are utilizing antimicrobials which is being produced by plants right so it's not a synthetic antibiotic but something that the plants use to protect themselves against microorganisms because plants have the leaf extracts root extracts seed extracts so they can work very well against especially multi drug resistance bacteria because we are running out of antibiotic to treat and kill my uh, multi drug resistance strains mr assays uh, particularly so use uh, this disk diffusion methods mic assays and characterize compounds based on gcms gas chromatography and mass spectrometry that is the one and hplc techniques they can use to find out the components the compounds the plant compounds that is actually capable of fighting against the multi drug resistance 
bacterias. And this is a great project in phytochemistry, in microbiology or in natural product research that you can take forward when you do PhD or you can, uh, in the CV if you have this, it will be very, very uh, interesting for the recruiters to understand your set of mind in order to do this kind of research. Now the last, I have one bonus topic and that is computational analysis of protein-protein interaction in human diseases. There are multiple human diseases, especially neurodegenerative diseases, uh, diseases where like Alzheimer's, where the protein-protein interaction plays a crucial role. So we'll find out that the 3D modeling that we should do. In silico tools, we use uh, in silico tools like string, cytoscape, and pymol to map and analyze the interaction between proteins related proteins that is very important in cancer understanding of Alzheimer's and that may involve molecular docking and structure and function analysis and uh, that could be any protein or in a complex of protein an analysis of a complex of proteins and it's ideal for students uh, blending the bioinformatics and structural biology together the work that I did as my my summer internship was very much related to this so that's why I put this as a bonus topic in here it's still relevant it was relevant uh, uh, I think it was relevant uh, 11 12 uh, like that was I think 13 14 years ago uh, that was relevant 13 14 years ago it's still relevant now uh, because uh, this topic is still relevant and it is the relevance is increasing because the more we understand about the protein protein interaction uh, the, the more uh, we are leaning towards structural uh, chemistry of proteins and understanding the 3D modeling with the help of all the 3D modeling uh, processes that we have. So these are six modern biology topics to do and conduct your summer internships or summer training program or summer research. In fact, you can extend this idea and continue to do your research work even beyond your summer internship and can continue to think about doing PhD in these fields that we have just discussed. So this video is going to be helpful. I believe there is no such video available in YouTube that guides you about the topics like this. If you get any benefit from this video, please hit the like button and mention in the comment which topic you like the most and you want to work with. Okay. And if you are from classical biology field and you want to work in the classical biology field, uh, then uh, watch the video on five topics on the uh, important and relevant topics to do summer internship in classical biology. I also have that video. Watch that video. Okay. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video. For now, that's it. Uh, subscribe to this channel. And if you wish to join CSINET coaching or get study materials, the number is there and contact us. Thank you.